I've been seeing y'all in the comments asking about that cat story time and I'm here to deliver, yes. But before we dab up into this video, I need y'all to make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. And if you happen to bump up across my channel, you can subscribe. You're not going to be disappointed. Let's dive right into it. So me and Mark, we at the crib. At the time, I'm 14, he 13. My mom comes upstairs. She said, look, I got to step out for a second. Now, it's like, you know what I'm saying, 2, 2 p.m. It's not late or nothing like that. So my mom like, look, I got to step out for a second. I got to make a run. She said, I'll be back in an hour or two. She said, all I ask y'all is watch up after your brother Caleb. So I said, I got you. She said, if he hungry, feed him. Don't let my son, don't let my son starve. Feed him. He, he don't ask for much. Just make sure you check on him and feed him. Soon as he wake up, because Caleb is the type that is sleep until like 12 and 1. Like on the weekends, he was sleeping until like 12 or 1 p.m. You feel me? So boom, my mom dip out. So Mark like, we got the house to ourselves. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, thank God she gone. So we relaxing and shit. So Mark got the, the TV on the music channel. So he like, man, we should do a prank. I'm like, a prank? He like, yeah. I'm like, what kind of prank? He like... I'll show you. He grabbed the house phone. So we were just calling like random numbers, right? And when they pick up, we would just like make pranks. So or act like we knew them. So Mark was like, all right, I got one. And he called 911. So they picked up 911. What's your emergency? So he was like, uh, I see something going on and, and, and it's across the street and it's click and he hung up. So I'm like, why you calling that one one? I'm like, they can see our number. He like, no, I start 69 it. I'm like, you start, oh, so you called it private? He like, yeah. I'm like, shit. I'm like, we gonna get in trouble. What if mama see it? I'm like, delete it out. I'm like, call another number because my mom is the type to make sure that we not on her house phone. She'll grab that motherfucking house phone and hit redial. So he called another number. So we were still sitting there. So boom, Mark was like, hey. Act like, hey, look, act like you coughing in the background. I'm like, what you finna do? He like, this is my last one. This is my last one, I promise you. He like, this one gonna be good. It's gonna make you laugh. He grabbed the phone out. I don't know who he finna call. This dude called 911 again. <laughs> he called 911 again. They pick up. 911, what's your emergency? He like, my grandpa, he like, he's having a heart attack. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> Like, oh, oh. but I'm coughing, but I'm telling him, like, get off the phone. He like, he's shaking, he's shaking. So Mark gives me the phone while the phone on speaking. He like, Ugh. so Mark started coughing the phone. He like, Ugh, uh. he like, he's having a seizure, he's having a seizure. He like, hurry up, hurry up. So I look out the window, I see my mom pulling up, but she's parking. So I'm like, oh, mom. So he hangs up. But when we put the phone back and we go back to look at the window, it's somebody else that got mom's truck that looks just like mom's truck. So a couple of minutes later, we hear the bell ring and then the house phone ring. But it says, it says private. So I pick up the phone. I'm like, hello. My mama said, look, Fred is stopping over. Let him in. I'm like, okay. She like, let him know I'll be there in a little second. Now that's our family member. So I'm like, all right, cool. So boom. I hang up the phone, right? I hang up the phone. So Mark, like, who is that? I'm like, that's mom. Boom, the bell ring. I open up the door. It's Fred, right? So the phone rings again. But when I get to the phone, it say unavailable. And so I pick up the phone. They're like, uh, did someone call 911 from this from this phone? So I was like, no. Beep. And I, and I straight put the phone back on the charger. Fucking 911 call back again. Cause it said unavailable. It didn't say private. So I was putting two to two together. So Mark, like, who is that? I'm like, that still just let the phone ring. So Fred come and straight pick up the phone. But he, you know, say he could do that. He pick up the phone. He like, hello. So they talking to him. So he like, no, nah. he like, no, nobody, nobody called, nobody called 911. So he hang up the phone. He like, did anybody call 911? So I was like, no, no, nobody called 911. So he was like, oh, okay, that's weird that 911 want to call him. I'm like, yeah, that is. I'm like, maybe for dad. He like, you think? I'm like, yeah. So Fred didn't pay no attention. Boom, my mom comes home. Her and Fred talk. She give Fred the money. Fred dip. Now, we're chilling, okay? My mom comes back upstairs. 
And so she's like snapping at Mark because now Fred finally talked to my mom and said that 911 called. So my mom was like, I tell y'all the truth right now. If y'all playing, calling 911 on the fucking phone, thinking it's funny, thinking it's a prank, I'm going to beat the skin off y'all. Now, here's the deal. Last time when Mark called 911, he sent the police and everybody across the street. Now, that was just he got beat down bad. So my mama say, Mark, I know it's you. She like, Brody Doty, and if you letting it go on, baby, you being a big brother and not stopping it, me and you going to have big problems. I'm like, but Ma, we didn't call 911. She say, yeah, okay, because Fred is not going to lie. He said he picked up the phone, and he said, somebody said, did you call 911? I'm like, maybe somebody was playing a prank on us. She said, why was, act like I'm stupid. She said, look, I'm stepping out later tonight. Y'all grounded. Y'all not going out. Don't ask can y'all go out for two months. And I'm going to make sure I let y'all daddy know. So Mark was mad because Mark actually had a game, a baseball game next weekend. So my mom was like, he couldn't do none of that. So boom, my mom gets dressed. She steps back out. Now it's a little later. It's nighttime. Boom. She steps out. So Mark like, I can't stay up right he like i want to do something to her so i'm like man we just gonna leave mark just was so angry at my mom so boom the next day come after my mom come home and shit everything copacetic we didn't get in trouble kayla was taken care of but the next day come now my dad is at home with my mom now my mom and dad they're about to go for a ride and then my dad is finna go get his coffee so they hop in the truck and they dip now me and mark is there to watch kayla so Benny Cat, my mama had a cat named Benny Cat. Now my mama don't like no fucking cats, okay? She don't like cats. She hate them. But this one cat that she got, that she had for like eight years, she loved this cat. She named him Benny Cat. He was a black cat with green eyes. I don't like cats. Mark don't like cats. One time Mark put a cat tail on fire down the block. He got in trouble on that. Ooh. He was doing the most on that one. My daddy, my daddy got in on that one. So boom, Mark like, mom love this cat, don't it? So he grabbed it. I'm like, what you finna do? He like, watch this. So he took the cat downstairs. So I'm following him downstairs. He goes in the toy room and open up the deep freezer. He like, she loved his cat so much. He like, I'm gonna torture her cat like she torture us. And so he put the cat in the deep freezer and closed it. And went upstairs. I'm like, man, get the cat. Now, I'm not going to touch the cat. I don't like cats. I ain't touching the cat. I ain't picking the cat up. I ain't petting the cat. When I see the cat, I'm going this way. If the cat that way, I'm going this way. If the cat in the kitchen, I ain't really coming in the kitchen. But he normally be with mama. He real cool. He do his own thing. So, Mar I, I go and sound like, Mark, get the cat. He like, I'm just going to leave him down there for a little bit. I'm like, yeah, all right. So, I go in the room. I get to getting on my phone. Right? I'm on my phone, chatting it up, shit like that. Now, time to time to pass by. I'm going to cook for Kayla. My mom that came back. So, as soon as my mama came in, she said, y'all saw Benny Cat? And I was like, it dawned on me. Like, I'm like, no. Nah. But in my mind, I'm like, the last time I saw Mark, put that motherfucker in the deep freezer. So, I'm like, no. Nah. So, Mark come on the stage. She said, you saw Benny Cat? So, Mark like, no, I ain't see Benny Cat. She said, why the hell you look like that? You look crazy. He like, nah, because he like, why would you be asking me about Benny Cat? That's your cat. She said, don't give me your mouth, because the thing is, she said, the cat is, I don't see the cat. The cat normally come up to me. She like, ow, Benny Cat ain't been up under me. Normally when I get in the jacuzzi or come in the house, I notice that he ain't rub up against me. Where he at? Is he sick? Where is he? So now my mama is calling, Benny Cat, Benny Cat, doing all that doing that shit so i look at mark i'm like Benny like in the deep freezer i'm like in the deep freezer he like yeah i'm like go get it out so mark hurry up shoes downstairs my mama's still looking for benny cat he grabs the cat out the deep freezer right do his thing so when he come back and me and him talking i say where the cat at he like it froze to death i said what he like it froze to death like this. And I was like, oh my God. He like, I put it under under the rug in the in the toy room. I'm like, what? 
He like, yeah, until we find out what we're going to do with it. I'm like, it's going to start stinking down there. So I go in the toy room because I didn't believe it. And the cat was really froze. Like, it looked like he was trying to get out that joint. And he just couldn't. Like, he was like, probably like, ur, ur, trying to get up out that joint. But he could So it caught like a picture of him like this. So I'm like, oh my, I left a thing. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> He's like, calm down. I'm like, oh my God, it's dead. Oh. I said, it's dead. Oh my God. You in trouble. I got nothing to do. You, I'm, I'm gone. So I leave. I go upstairs in the room. I'm like, oh my God. So my mom like, where is Benny Cat? So now it's Dave's hat. Dave's hat. Days. We're talking about one, two, three days have passed. Now my mom cleans the whole entire house every day. But the toy room is no need because in the toy room, everything is neat. Nobody really go down there. Candle go down there to watch TV sometimes. But it's really like, you know, like how you have a tree house. Just imagine it having that. It's like a big ass, long ass room. It's just big and it's just full of toys, games, everything you can do, right? It's just, it's just, it's just for boys pretty much. My mom don't really go down there, right? It's decent. It's just for us. So, so happily, my mom goes down there and she smell an odor. She like, oh my God, it's stinking here. So she goes straight to my dad. My dad say, where is it coming from? Right? Like, where is it coming from? So he smell, he like, he get closer. He like, why the carpet is messed up? She said, I don't know. It must be. Let me straighten it out. And when she goes to go straighten it out, right i'm downstairs because i already hear my mom talking i'm listening i'm on the stairs listening to my mom <laughs> because once i heard like that smell i already knew mark is caught i'm not caught i have shit to do with this mark is caught my mama flipped that motherfucker carpet over she said ah! i hurried up and went upstairs slowly and when she said Mark, Rody Doty, get y'all ass down here now. 